Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today um, we're going to do a little stamping and a little She Modern foil nail art and using glitter to color it in. So let's take a look at what I have for you and then I'll show you how I created it. So let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to use these sticker sheets from She Modern. I mean foil art sheets. And they all come with an extra set of um, samples and um, a mixing canvas. Kind of the wrapper like this. But I saw these hearts, you know, and I just got them because they were new. So I got the the heart um, mix. But this heart right here, <laughs> I just happened to notice, matches pretty remarkable this stamping plate. So I thought it would be really fun to use these two things in a Manny. And this is my Uber Chic Love in Marriage 3 plate. Okay, so we're just going to take these out of the package. It comes with an acetate sheet to um, put over your to put over the um, foil art so that it doesn't stick to the front of the poly bag and so it's easy to slide it in as well because you have this sandwiched in between the black paper and get up black paper and that whoops helps protect them a little bit better and then you have a sheet of stickers so or a sticker sheet so if you want to just color them all in at once and get it over with then you can save them on the sticker sheet as stickers so right now we're just going to use these small hearts down here so what you do is you just cut them in strips um don't cut don't cut them off of this binding part because then it would be just really hard um, to, to use them. They just get all over the place. So this, this keeps them staying put. And we can just cut them. You just cut these words off the bottom here. So that we just have the image that we want to use. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut the one heart off. Because that's all I'm going to do today. It's just the one heart. So I just have an inexpensive stamper I got off of eBay. They sell for $2. If you're lucky to find them, you can find them for $1.99. Otherwise, they're just a little over $2. And I'm just going to um, stick this upside down and just flick the paper away. There. So now it's on, um, on the stamp. And what I did was I turned it over so you don't have the domed part. So you just have a flat. And for this part, I'm just going to use my shiny No Clean Top Gel that I get from Wave Gel. And um, that's that's just what I have, so I'm going to use it. But you do need a No Clean Gel to do this um, particular design. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop a touch of gel polish there. You don't want too much because if you get too much, then your image is going to be um, big and bulky and it won't lay nice or anything like that. So, and I'm just going to spread it around, making sure I get the whole outline and the center. So that looks pretty good. I got the whole thing. That's really good because that's important. Um, whatever portion of the outline that you don't get will not be lifted up when after you're curing it. And you see it is very nice and thin. So now I'm going to cure this. I know Wave Gel only cures for 30 seconds. Otherwise, if you cure it too long, you won't ever be able to remove it from this um, the, the front of this sheet. So I know, I know that because I tested it a whole bunch of times. <laughs> 30 seconds works perfect. While that's curing, I'm just going to slip the rest of these back in the poly bag. To store. Okay. 
There we go. And then once I have them in their little bag, I've already opened the package. I like to store them in a little photo album. So you can put, um, here's some stickers that I made before. Um, otherwise you can just, you can group them all together. Or they can have their own slot, whatever works best for you. I just find this a real convenient way to store them in one place that's easy to get to. Okay, now that this has been cured, I'm going to remove it um, from this little stamper. So now you can just scratch at the edge and remove it. However, I don't know if my stamper is just less firm or whatever, but I don't have any good luck at scratching it off when it's on, sitting on my stamper. So I'm going to move it onto my mixing canvas here. Just scratch at one side of your image there we go and then it will lift right off mixing canvas and then we're ready to go for the second part okay so now I put it back on the stamper head back side up and the second step is to take some nail glue and we're just going to put a little bit of nail glue making sure it stays right in the center of the design and we can just move it around it dries pretty quick so you want to be quick 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 we're just going to move it around to make sure the whole inside of the heart is coated. That looks like I got it all. Right, so now we're just going to wait for that to dry, which should only be a minute or two. When it's dry, it will be clear. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this pink hollow glitter by she modern and it comes in this nice little dispenser right here so you don't get a ton of glitter all over the place and actually what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get glitter all over the place I'm gonna take the mixing canvas I'm just gonna pop a little bit out on there and then I'm going to pick it up with my finger and I'm just going to dab it Till it completely fills in the center of my heart. Okay, so now I have it on my heart and I've got a big mess, so I'm just going to take my lint roller and clean off my finger, and clean off the mixing canvas. There. I didn't really know that lint rollers could clean glitter before this, but it makes sense. It's Pretty awesome way to clean your glitter from everywhere. So now we have this. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a piece of scotch tape and get rid of all the unwanted glitter. The glitter is only going to stick to where the glue is and it'll lift off. It'll lift off from everywhere else. So now that I have that done, take my little tweezers, I'll get it off my, Ooh, that looks pretty. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to stick it right there for now. I think we'll just use that. Okay, we're just going to leave it there. And I'm going to do my nails now. I'll be using base gel and then shiny no clean top gel on the top. And I've picked out Miranda because I think that kind of goes good with this pink hollow. And then I'm using a light strawberry shortcake as well. Okay, to help stick this to my nail, I'm just going to swipe a little bit more nail glue on the back. And that'll just help it stay in place um, while I'm top coating it. While we're waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to remove the tacky layer on this one finger with a lint-free wipe. Everything else has already been top coated, but I just don't want to put too much 
too many layers on my nails. They are so short. <laughs> now we'll do some stamping. I picked out this color called Metal Rose from Moira, and this is SP10. I thought it also would match all of the colors that I'm using today. Since this is an all over design and placement doesn't matter, I'm going to use my Uber Chic Sticky Stamper and, oh, guess my Bundle Monster Scraper because it's what I picked up. Okay. And that looks amazing. Okay, so basically you just stick it somewhere in your finger and then, ooh, ah, and oh my gosh, did it not get all over my hand? That's amazing. I have no idea how that even happened. <laughs> Lucky day, I guess. <laughs> wow, I love how that looks. Awesome, awesome. I'm also going to use Dance Legend Pink um, Stamping Polish. I really like Dance Legend, too. Most of the stamping polishes that you'll see on my channel are ones that I really, really like. So um, I'm going to use this. I'm going to put that on my pinky. Okay, so I don't think I could do this twice where I get a clean all the way around my nails, but um, I forgot to put like text on, so whatever. <laughs> so whatever, guys. Okay, so I've got pink. And I am just going to press it on here. And wow, not bad though. Look at that. I only got one little spot. I have no idea why this is happening. I got some over here. But um, since, I'm, since I use gel, I can just wipe that off with acetone. But I don't know, not know why this is happening. This is so weird. <laughs> okay, let's just go with it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to put this image right down here. Kind of roll my stamper back and forth. Perfect. And in our little bag of goodies comes a, um, a stopper. Also the acetate and black paper to get it to slide easy in and out. And this is like a, a smoother stopper design maker and we'll, we'll get into this in another video I'll use this but um you can just smooth down your image that you just made a sticker of and this is, this is what it's really good for make sure all the edges are down before you put the top coat on which looks really good because whatever isn't flat is not gonna look so great So I'm going to put the top coat on and come right back. Okay, so here's the finished look. I hope you like it. I think it's kind of cute. Hearts, you can really kind of get away, I think, <laughs> um, wearing them any time of year. I know this one missed Valentine's Day, but I really wanted to use um, the plate with this little decal because I thought it was completely awesome. And besides, if you like it, <laughs> then you'll have ample amount of time to collect all the supplies to duplicate this one for next Valentine's Day. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye for now.